Okay, so what I'm going to do is put in the domain name what, that I want, and I'm going to put in a subdomain. And you probably don't have one, but this is because I have a main domain and I want to create subdomains as my demo website. So for you, it'll just be www.yourname.com. For me, it's going to be www.demo7limelightwebsites.com. Then I'm going to click submit. And then it's going to give me instructions. And these get technical. These are DNS settings, which you have to go either to where you do your website hosting, which if you have WordPress hosting, it might be Bluehost, it might be SiteGround, it might be WPX hosting. Um, but if not, then you go to, if you have a non-WordPress website with just Brizzy Cloud, then you go to where you bought your website domain name from so it could be what namecheap.com so then you can go to your dns settings here and you would create a record and this is the data that you have to put in so i use cloudflare for my dns settings i do have a wordpress website but i use cloudflare to handle all of my back-end scary technical stuff so let me show you how to set up that c name record in your dns settings through cloudflare just to let you know this is pretty much the same process so for everyone just go into your website hosting account or where you bought your website domain name if you don't have wordpress hosting and you will find a tab that says dns settings if you don't know where to find it just Google your website host provider or your domain name provider and Google, for example, namecheap.com, DNS settings or bluehost.com, DNS settings, and they will show you where to find the DNS settings. So I'm going to go over to Cloudflare and I'm going to go to the top and click add record and I'm going to choose CNAME and what I'm going to do is see what it wants me to do. So www.demo, right? So I have, you'll see I have all these demo ones. So www.demo7. And I do not, you see how it has the dot limelightwebsites.com. If you're doing a subdomain, you do not want to add the other stuff because look as it'll say up here in the preview this is what the final url will look like so this is for a subdomain if this is just for your main no domain then you just have to do this either do an at you can just do the at symbol and it will just give you your entire website url and you want to put that in the name blank and then, so since I was demo seven, that's what I'm going to put in. I'm going to go back and it gives me the required data. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm going to keep TTL on auto and I'm going to turn from proxy. I'm going just going to do DNS only. As you can see, I only put proxy for things that are on my main website. And this is a little technical, so I'm not going to explain why, but that's just a good rule of thumb. Now, I'm going to click save for my C name, checking that this is all the correct information I want. I'm going to click save and let it load. And now we're going to do it one more time. We're going to do it without the www www dot so this time i'm just going to do demo seven and in your case you the first one you did was www dot your webs and then you the first time you did sorry the first one that you did was just the at symbol and now what i want you to do now is to do the www and don't put a dot after it and that's all I want you to do because what you want is 
to make sure that when someone types in the www dot that they get redirected to the same place but also if they don't type in the www dot that they still get sent to the same place so i'm going to do it without that and i'm going to paste the same target and turn dn to dns only and i'm going to click save and then after this is in, I'm going to go back here and just bear in mind that this could take up to 24 hours depending on how long it takes to register because right now all the technology elves are talking and we are going to have to keep refreshing to see. And there we go. There we go. So now it is registered. So if you go to www.demo7.limelightwebsites.com, let's see if it shows up. It's not showing up. Don't panic because it has only been less than two minutes. Give it 24 hours. If you see that Brizzy has read the data, then you are perfectly fine. Just don't panic if you see an error right after you do it. Give it 24 hours and it should be redirecting to your official URL and you should be good with that. So good luck with this. And if you have any questions, because I know this can be confusing with all of the technical vocabulary, shoot us an email or leave a comment and we will help you out. Have a good day. So here is an update just not even two minutes after I finished the other tutorial, the first part of it, and you'll notice that it is now showing the website here, but it says that it's not secure. Again, don't panic. It has been less than 10 minutes since you have created the custom domain to your Brizzy Cloud account, so don't even worry about it. Again, give it 24 hours and I'll give you another update when it does show to be secure and it should be good by then. So I'll give you an update, but again, do not panic if it's not secure right after you have the DNS settings propagated and it's connected to your custom domain. Hi everyone, so this is part three of setting up the custom domain with Brizzy Cloud. And as you can see, not even it's not even been an hour since we set up the custom domain with Brizzy Cloud and it already has the secure connection, the SSL certificate. And so whenever someone accesses your website from now on, it will be safe, it will be secure, and they will not get an error message or a security warning before seeing your website so that just adds to your credibility and that is the entirety of setting up your custom domain through brizzy cloud and i hope that was helpful if you have questions send us an email drop us a facebook message or um catch us in the live chat on our website so have a good day guys and good luck